Hello friends, this is your host from phpmatrimonialscript.com. Today we are going to explore from the admin the user manager for a matrimonial script. Clicking on the user management, you get a user management panel whereby you can explore the available manager over there. Here the entire manager has been designed uh, keeping the needs of a marriage bureau team. Uh, if you see first there is a user ID it is mentioned in the golden area 3 then there is a, a name and the other details of that particular user say like profile ID gender name F after that the details related to the contact of that particular user are available so in case if your if your team is marketing then they can use these contact details to reach to that particular user this is also helpful when you are planning to give some kind of a support or a help to the particular user this can instantly be used this can be also be used for a phone when the user is calling for a verification of the mobile number can be asked for Further on the right hand side the detail in the details area you will find the registration date and the membership package the user has taken. You can always upgrade the user in case if you would like to give him some kind of a benefits or some kind of an ordinary packages you can use the upgrade button. Expiry of that particular package is also mentioned out here if the user has verified the email or not that also is mentioned plus the verification code that has been sent to the user is also mentioned if the user has made any kind of a login then last login details would also be available further uh, if you have explored the client side version of the website modification of gender and email address is not allowed by the user so if you receive a, some kind of a support request to change the gender or to change the email address you can do it via edit details out here whereby you are allowed to change the email address as well as the birth date or the gender so this is the most important area in case if you are handling multiple users and if there are some kind of a support request of changing birth date or gender or email address it can be done from here if the user requires to be verification email to be resend clicking on this will resend it number of contacts that a user can view is also available out here say this is based on the packages the user has taken that's one thing next important thing is the status whereby here you can see the active status the active st when if the active status is there then the user and the email is verified user can log in into the system and uh, further can do the required work in the client side but if the user is deactive then the <coughs> it then it is not available if you check user management we have divided also the users which are active deactive if the user has selfly made deactive then he it is available of over here if there are any uh, approvals to be required by the user if the certain modification in the profile has been carried out or certain images have been uploaded if that requires to be approved then it is available in the unapproved area further all the expired users from a particular package are available here so this is extremely helpful in case if you are doing day-to-day -day operations work you can get the ex expired user list or deactive user list or active user list very easily on the click of the button further if this user ID if you see it this is used to feature the profile on the home page here the same user ID is put across separated by a semicolon and these this particular user is comes on the home page in the featured profile area and it is extremely simple simply for example we add seven separated by semicolon submit that's it it will come across on the home page I think you had a very good preview of the user management till we 
get you the next video till then have a great day